Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to do a at-home balayage tutorial. So Blue Sands Beauty asked me to do this at-home balayage tutorial to show you at home how to get this look and effect at home. So I will be showing you step by step, I will be explaining formulas, whether you are blonde or brunette and you do want a more sun-kissed and balayage look, I will be explaining all of that here today. For those of you that would like all the products that you see me use here today, just so that you can absolutely just completely recreate this look and just try it out yourself at home, Blue Sands is doing a giveaway and giving five lucky winners all the products that I've used here, including the tools such as these brush brushes which are this new amazing technology that is just basically a spatula and a brush in one so it's a lot easier to apply bleach and to give that very painted and beautiful like artistic balayage look along with that you will get the bleach and the towels as well so basically everything that I've used here today so I went ahead and did this balayage on a mannequin as you can see mannequin hair is always treated and processed so it's not as shiny and vibrant as it would look on you but the whole purpose of this is to show you application and the technique of how to paint it on and just to really show you how absolutely easy it actually is. Balayage is the most sought after color right now in salons and people come in you know, asking for this all the time and it's a great way to just add color to your hair even for those people that are a little bit afraid of highlights or you know just adding a lot of lightener to their hair this is so subtle and what a lot of people get scared with is when the top or you know the just the very root looks very streaky and very bleached out so the way balayage works is that it's just very subtle on top and then it kind of fades into a more dramatic and more blonde ends. But unlike the ombre, which is just kind of dip dyed, I'm much more of a fan of this look, which it just looks very seamless and very natural. So for all of you that would like to win all of these products to create this look at home, please stay tuned till the end so I can explain how you can get that. So I'm using the Blue Sand Beauty bleach and I'm using 20 volume for this look here. Like I said, we want a pretty subtle look as with balayage you don't want a very starky look. You don't want the balayage light pieces to be much more than say three levels lighter than your you know base color. This one here is a little bit more exaggerated but again I wanted to do enough so that you can actually see the difference and see the placement. If you do have you know crazy amounts of color and you've previously colored many different colors then I would probably not do this at home. But for everyone else go ahead and try it out. Super easy and let's get to it and let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start by doing this at home balayage. And what balayage is, is basically adding lightness to the hair that looks very sun kissed and very natural. So I've grabbed my first thin section with my comb and I'm going to start artistically applying. And as you can see, with a spatula brush like this, it kind of goes on very seamless and much easier to create that balayage effect. And what you don't want is a very straight line because when you get a straight line then you get that very streaky like highlighted look and that's exactly what you want to avoid. So as you work your way down, then the whole part gets completely bleached. As you see on the top, it's just specific strands that get it. As you come down, the whole thing gets bleached. Then you can use saran wrap, you can use foil, you can use just cotton in between. I'm going to use foil just because at home, I believe that that's probably the easiest way. And you can slide down because the top is because we mix the product really pretty thick. It's not going to bleed or mix in with the rest of your hair. 
and then I'm going to fold up the foil just to where to where the bleach is kind of covering the entire hair. So you don't want to bring this up to this area because then you would add bleach to areas that you uh, don't want. And obviously this is something you paint it on and that's the effect you want to maintain. So create a little pocket in the foil and you are done with that section. I'm going to turn her around and we're going to start working on this side. The reason why we work on the left side right away, especially the top part, is because we want it to process at exactly the same time and we don't want one side obviously to be lighter than the other. So I've grabbed the other side and we're just going to paint on the same way we did to the other side. I'm going to use a different kind of spatula. It's a little more rounded on the sides just to show you the effects and the ease that it is to use the brush, spatula brushes. If you're a beginner or you're a little afraid of just kind of splotching and making a big mess, use less bleach, especially when you work on this top section. And when in doubt, just keep brushing at it and make it as smooth as possible, especially on top. When you get to the bottom, it, it becomes pretty easy. But just for the top, just keep blending. Don't apply a lot of pressure because the whole point is that you don't want the bleach to get through into the other hair. You kind of just want it to paint basically the top part of the hair. And once it looks pretty even to you, always go back into the bottom section where you want really saturated, almost kind of creating a then ombre effect once you've got the balayage effect down. So you want the bottom pieces to really be just quite sun-kissed. Because the way the sun would naturally lighten your hair is that the hair down here is a lot older and a lot more processed and has seen a lot more sun. So it's natural that it would be a lot lighter than the top would be. So the same thing, just fold it up and create a pocket. Don't bother to tighten this part too much because if you tighten it too much, then the bleach spreads around and obviously we don't want that. Just kind of want it to loosely sit in the pocket. All right, and then again with the bangs, same technique that we've been using on the top. We're just going to take that top kind of thin layer that is just kind of cascading the entire bangs. And because the bangs is a chunk of hair that actually tends to really stick together as opposed to this hair back here that kind of moves freely a lot more, we want to be even more subtle. So when I grab this top section, the way I've been doing just kind of freehand painting, this one I'm actually going to weave pieces out. So just the same way that the top was, but this way I ensure that I definitely don't get too much bleach up here. Because the fact that this is shorter hair, we tend to get a little crazy and then want to do the ends a lot blonder. So when we weave a piece out, you're just ensuring that you're not going to get anything that's too much or too blonde. So I've weaved these pieces out. Once I've done that, I'm still going to create that kind of up-down effect because we don't want it to just be a highlight that starts from the forehead. Even though towards the front, what we want is definitely uh, closer to the scalp because it's the area of the hair that gets the most sun and so therefore it would start a little bit higher. For this section, I am applying the foil right away because you want to protect obviously the <laughs> client's face and because you are actually touching skin, you don't want to apply so much pressure and so it's just safer and better this way with the foil under. So again, I'm not coming completely to the root, but kind of just creating an up-down effect.
And so for this, I am coming all the way down like I did in the other pieces, but we're going to be a little more subtle and not apply so much bleach towards the ends. And because the bangs is such a almost piece of artwork, we don't want to bend this all the way up and mess any of this kind of randomness that you've created. So you want to get a brand new piece of foil and cover that. And just folding it over just to hold that in place. And you're done with the bangs. Now we are working on the back because this is where we want to create that kind of it's coming sort of lower where the sun is bleaching and we want again to, this back part to bleach and process at around the same time as we've done the top. So in the back in, we are going to split it down the middle. So we have two, two separate parts back here and then I'm going to take the left side first and just kind of grab that part across. And as you can kind of just visually imagine that hair falling and where you would kind of want that effect to start. So because this is the last piece that kind of still comes up, so here's where we would kind of start creating that just very relaxed look. And in order to kind of marry these two sections together so that it doesn't just look like high and then really low, the piece closest to that you kind of want to bring up and that's what's going to kind of just marry those two sections together. And again, same technique as we did with all the others and just kind of really saturating the ends on this piece. And again, of course, the same thing on the other side, on the left half side of the back. And make sure to get really clean and even sections. Okay, so I'm going to move this a little bit out of the way, making sure that the bleach is not touching any new hair. And we're just going to follow with that exact same technique, and I'm going to do about two more sections down. So grabbing one more section, doing that same thing, putting that off to the side, grabbing another section, doing the same thing, two more sections on this side, and then two more sections on the back of each side as well. So that's basically, you end up with three on this side, three on this side, three in the back left, three in the back right, and then in the bangs, just one. And that's just because back here we have a lot of layers of hair and you wouldn't want a balayage to start and kind of end where that layer ends. We want the lightness to go all the way to your longest piece and this is why we do a few more layers going through. Also, there's a lot more hair back here if you think from here to here as opposed to the bangs is maybe less than an inch width of hair. So as the hair moves and you know you wear your hair up, you want it to have that very flowy and kind of beautiful and natural effect to the hair. So I'm going to do one more section here right now and then the rest is basically self-explanatory.
So once we are done balayaging everything, I like to let it process for about 15 to 20 minutes. She's actually lifting pretty quickly, so in a few more minutes I'll just shampoo and condition. Really important to give the hair a deep conditioning treatment after it's been bleached. Uh, along with that if it needs to be toned. I think I will just leave it as is just so I can show you guys just how exactly it came out. Alright, so we are all done with the balayage. I've gone ahead, shampooed and conditioned her and gave her a blowout. Just very simple and straight so you can see the color. And as you can see, it's subtle and smooth and you can't really tell like kind of where the highlights or the kind of balayage streaks begin. I didn't tone her. I wanted you to see straight what the bleach did. I used a 20 volume and this is the result. So like I said, we don't want like a crazy stark, you know, contrast look. So something that's pretty close to her natural base. So very pretty. This can be, you know, great in the summer just to add, you know, brightness and lightness and it can be beautiful and subtle like in the fall and in the winter. So like I said earlier, Blue Sands agreed to give five lucky winners all the products that I use to do this at-home balayage. So everything from the brush brushes to the bleach to even the towels. So if obviously if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in getting this done on your own hair or doing it on someone. So if you're interested in receiving these things, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and leave me a tweet saying that you want to win these products and leave your name. So I will go ahead and announce the five winners on the comments below in this video. So check back in about a week and I will have picked five of you and Blue Sands will be sending you all these products to you. So thank you so much for watching. For those of you that would rather get your hair done by me, and if you are in the San Francisco area and would like to book me, follow me on Instagram. All my phone number and information is on there. You can check out some of my work there, and you can go ahead and book me. I would love to meet all of you. Please subscribe if you haven't for more hair and beauty tutorials. Alright, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.